Hey guys, Pamela Gagnon here from performanceplusprogramming.com and today we're tackling the very big question of toes to bar. Bent knees, straight legs, what should I do? So the answer is very dependent on the athlete, what muscles we wanna use, our flexibility, and also our understanding of how to move through space. Let's take a look at both of these techniques. Okay, so one thing that we do have in common is global extension and flexion. What does that mean? It means through our core all the way to our extremity, we have global extension, and then we have flexion back into the hollow position. These two shapes will allow us to build the correct tension in order to create power. Think of it as a rubber band being pulled back and then released and that's how you fly through space. That's the thing they have in common. They both use a tremendous amount of lats, hip flexor strength, and core strength. Let's talk about which one should you use. Let's look at the straight toes to bar. We have to be very flexible and bendy in order to be able to touch our toes without bending our knees because essentially that's what we're doing while we're hanging. So if we don't have a ton of flexibility, that method is going to be more difficult. Let's look at flexibility. With the straight leg toes to bar, if we cannot touch our palms down to the ground with our knees straight, then we might have difficulty doing this hanging inverted. Here's a good test to see if the straight leg would be something that would be easily achieved. So I really enjoy doing that to stretch hamstrings, see if the athlete has the flexibility in order to get those legs up straight. If we do not have that, then we will probably have to do a slight bend and kick method as in that tuck position. So now our knees have a soft bend to them which will alleviate some of the hamstring stretching that we would need. Let's talk about cycle time. Which one is faster? Well, it also depends on how wide your hip swing is. So I could essentially keep in really tight and do a much faster straight as opposed to if I were to come way out and make that hip swing really big. So there really isn't an answer to which one is faster. It's based on how tight and quick you can go through the cycle time of the kip swing. Let's also discuss muscles being used. The tuck position is kind of like a hollow tuck in this position. We're using a lot of core strength. The pike up is a little more of hip flexor strength. If we are up on the rig and our core is getting taxed, we might want to go to straight leg where we have to use a little bit more hip flexor and quad strength in order to propel us through more reps at higher pace. Which one is better, tucked or straight leg? It's really very, very dependent on how the athlete moves through space and their comfort level of what their strengths and weaknesses are. All right, so thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys learned a little bit about tuck and straight-legged toes to bar. If you want more information, make sure you check out performanceplusprogramming.com. We have over 40 plus skill-based programs in our app, and we have some really amazing toes to bar programs, lats to fly, and toes to bar overhaul that will help you guys gain more knowledge of this skill.